thirsty for older men. I'm thirsty for older men. Oh, their maturity drives me into a state of mad sexuality. I'm obsessed, possessed, and distressed by this old man mentality. And before you say anything, my father was very present in <laughs> I want a bone older man. like cartoon eyes, like fire trucks sound like woo woo, you know that kind of love, like 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 the kind of love where there's like butterflies in your stomach, but they're rabid butterflies and they're like a threat to society. You know, you know that kind of love, like um, like the kind of love where you're like on a roller coaster, but there's no seat belts and and also it's missing a wheel, so it's mm. it's really rickety and and the it's like the cyclone in, in Coney Island. It's made of wood, and also everything's on fire. And and as you're hurtling together into the flames at an unknown speed, you turn to him and you say, "I got your initials branded on me, Michael. I know you didn't ask for it, but I did it." <laughs> he came on my stomach and then put on his socks. Great sushi spot. It's called Sushi Eat You. Are you in the mood? I said, why not? I could go for some food. My first time. My first time. Hey, Edamame with come on my tummy. Oh, my no, I didn't feel like he was trying to hide me, per se. I mean, like, maybe, yeah, sometimes, like, he, he wouldn't kiss me in public or hold my hand in public or like say my name in public. And then there was this time where we were walking down the street and, and we bumped into someone he knew and so he, he shoved me into a back alley. But you know, he didn't tell me how long to stay in the back alley for, so I got to pop my head back down, then he shoved me back in. That that did feel like he was trying to hide me. <laughs> like I don't know if you could tell from that last part of that song, but like I had sex with a lot of people. Uh, so we, you know, we probably don't have time to get into that, right? Because the session's almost go. Twenty more minutes. Oh my God! I mean, don't you want to hear about like growing up in a divorced household, or like, or like that time that I accidentally killed a bird, or my phobia of the of suede, like the fabric suede, like I can't wear it, and if it's in a display, I have to cross the street. <laughs> I know you said we're not interested in judging here. Okay, but your eyebrows have been telling a different story this entire time. You've been writing in that notepad, and they go down when you write in the notepad, down. And then when I sing my songs, they go, oh, they go up. I'm like, and then you do the one and one. I can't do that, but just know that you do this a lot. Next there was Johnny. He was a part-time actor, only did Shakespeare, and he lived out in Jersey with his two kids and his wife in Paramus. He would drive into the city in his SUV just to see me for an hour. That's all you need. And he referred to his dick in the third person, like, hey, he just needs a minute to warm up. <laughs> but, uh, no, keep working, because he'll get there. <laughs> Ms. Goodman presents as anxious, uncomfortable, and somehow also confident. <laughs> I'm very empowered by the choices I've made So what if all my lovers are double my own age? I'm the seductress and I'm two steps ahead So what if every one of them just leaves me in the end? Oh yeah, cause I'm fucked up But I'm fucked up in a good way A way that Singing off key, guitar work pretty good. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.